Welcome to our very first virtual MTU Marine CEO chat. I'm here today with the Rolls-Royce Power System CEO Andreas Schell and very happy to discuss with him the future of shipping and the propulsion technologies that will play a role in that. My name is Denise Kurtulus and as Vice President of the MTU Marine Unit, I'm very happy to also welcome you out there to listen to us and comment later on. Thanks a lot and great to have you here today, Andreas. How are you? Thank you, Denise. I'm doing fine. I've had a great start in the day, doing a quick run at the shores of Lake Constance. And of course, I would prefer much more to kind of meet people in person. Um, but since that isn't possible right now, I'm really happy that people are actually kind of watching our chat. And uh, I think there is a lot of information worthwhile coming your way. Great. To get started, could you give us a little idea around the importance of the maritime industry for the economy, but also for global society? Well, the maritime industry is very important. It transports more than 90% of all global goods. And just for Germany, this is more than 60%, and it shows the significance of that industry. We as Rolls-Royce Power Systems have been a part of that industry for more than 90 years and we of course think it's a very important um, industry for us to play in. Our company, uh, Andreas, is at the moment in a big transformation. Could you share a little bit your vision on where do you see Rolls-Royce Power Systems in 2030 and what that means for our customers? You're talking about our strategy, Rolls-Royce Power Systems 2030, RRPS 2030. Back in 2017, a few of us got together and we really talked about the future for our company. And we felt it was time to define our strategy, to transform ourselves from an established, a well-established traditional engine maker into a sustainable solution provider. Now, 2030 seems to be very, very far away, but in order for us to get there and to be ready by then, we immediately started and to all of our participants, you will hear about the progress we have made so far. We still have a way to go, but we are off to a very good start under RRPS 2030. To connect now the two topics, we talked about maritime industry and the Rolls-Royce Power System strategy. What role is Rolls-Royce Power System playing in the maritime industry? Well, first and foremost, we have more than 25,000 ships worldwide that are equipped with our propulsion systems, with our automation systems, with our equipment on board. And that makes up for more than 1 billion euro of revenue for us. Any question, that is very important for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, now you mentioned a couple of times in the conversation already the word solution, solution provider. Could you share a little bit what that means concretely? Certainly. What is a solution provider? I think with more than 90 years of experience in the maritime industry, I think we understand very well, and I'm proud of that understanding, we understand very well what challenges our customers are faced with. And I think in the past, it may have been okay to give a product or a service to a customer, but I think today the challenges are a lot more complex and that's why we need to come up with complete solutions that enable our customers. And I think enablement is very important in that regard, that enable our customers to do their business. Of course, using our products, our services, but it doesn't stop there. I think thinking about emission requirements and things like that, they require broader solutions and that's where the word solutions provider comes into play. And that brings a very important topic that we really need to discuss. You mentioned the word emission and challenges because what is happening right now in the maritime industry is obviously also that we are contributing a lot to the global warming and the emissions. Could you tell us a little bit about how you are tackling or how are we tackling as company the challenges of emission reduction? Well, Denise, the climate change is the number one challenge for mankind. And we all have our responsibility in not letting this become a problem of the next generation. We have the responsibility to drive solutions now and today so that this problem doesn't become bigger, but that we are starting to solve it in our generation. And you're right, the maritime industry, because of its significance, 
is a major focus area for us. Hybrid propulsion systems, automation systems, sustainable fuels, power to x all of these things play a massive role in really driving um, improvements and limiting the effects of climate change. Yeah, and on the other hand, it's not only coming with challenges. I guess this brings also a lot of opportunity into the ecosystem that we can work on. Could you tell us a little bit about the benefits you're seeing with that discussion? I have, of course, a lot of dialogue with many stakeholders. And during the pandemic, I spoke to many of them. Um, I, I think the, the aspect around climate change has certainly kind of accelerated and it's now really front and center to many people. But I also see a lot of people who are fearful of what's in front of us. And to me, fear is not the solution. These are complex challenges, and that's why teamwork is required, collaboration is required to solve them. But we really need to start seeing the opportunities behind the challenges. To be an engineer today, to be a business person in today's world with all of the new solutions that are in front of us, that in cases still have to be invented, how cool is that? Thanks a lot, Andreas. What do you expect now from the maritime ecosystem in order to tackle these challenges of the greener future? Two words come to my mind. Teamwork and collaboration. I truly believe that the problems and challenges we face today are too complex for individuals to solve them. That's why we need to work together across the entire ecosystem. I think we need to collaborate even closer. We need to be open with each other and learn how to share knowledge. And then I'm very confident we will overcome the challenges and come up with the solutions that our industry requires. Thanks a lot, Andreas. That was really an interesting CEO chat on the maritime future. And I'm looking forward to discuss further with you. Thanks a lot to all of you out there in the ecosystem. Contact us if you have comments or questions. And thanks a lot, enjoy your day.